let's talk about identity. I have a student who is under the impression that at any given moment, there are seven other people on the planet that look exactly like you, except one thing is different. These are his words. They look just like you, except one thing is different, and it's probably their name. First of all, your name has nothing to do with your looks. But second of all, seven other people on the planet that look exactly like you. He's talking about doppelgangers, obviously. But how do you know you don't look exactly like them? How do you know you're the one that it's all based off of? I'm not sure if I buy into the theory that there are seven other people that look exactly like you. I'm sure there are people that look similar. I've come across a few in my day. My mom or my sister are never short to tell me that they've come across somebody that they thought was me from a distance. Uh, and in some cases, they're like, we were almost certain it was you. But uh, it wasn't. So I have no doubt there are people that look similar. Um, I have a friend, it's the same one that I talked about. Oh, no, never mind. That was on my blog, not on the videos. I have a friend who um, this summer has recently come to terms with the fact that there are people out there that look similar to him. Um, when a friend of his shared a picture from a dating website that they had come across. just like him, but wasn't. The guy was shirtless and perched on a lounge chair with his hand out like a claw and roaring. It was very strange, actually. Um, but it was not this gentleman that I, uh, that I know. And uh, there are several other pictures that he's come across that, that look similar. To him, and he came to the conclusion that he is quote basic looking. Um, I'm not really sure what that means, but uh, that's the conclusion he came to. And how does this all tie back back into your identity? Well, back to what my student was saying. He's he's talked about it before, and I've heard this elsewhere besides him. And I'm actually surprised that he brought it up, but. He said, if you ran into you on the street, like, your identical twin was exactly the same as you in every aspect, you would not recognize them. And I've heard that before. I don't remember where. But I don't know how that makes sense because we all look in the mirror every day. Sometimes several times a day. And we're all pretty familiar with our physical selves. To the point where if I ran into somebody that was basically me, <laughs> I think I'd know it. And that's the problem with, with identity is we become so sure of who we are, our physical identity. I'm not talking about like making an imprint and leaving a legacy or anything. I'm talking about like your physical self. You know, how you're identified. Um, when you come across somebody that looks like you, I think you're aware of it should be because you know what you look like. Yes, when you look in the mirror, your reflection is flipped around. But you've also seen yourself in pictures and on videos. But is our perception of ourselves so skewed that we don't even look the same to other people? I don't know. I, I'm not another person. And I never will be. So I don't know 
if the way I see myself in mirrors and pictures and on videos is the same way other people see me face to face. It's one of those things that's really kind of confused me since the time I was in about sixth grade is the earliest I can go back to remembering having this thought. Is that, do I look the same to others that I look to myself? Do I sound the same? Because we all perceive sound differently too. Maybe somebody that I think is a fantastic singer or has a really nice radio voice or is extremely annoying to listen to is not the same as somebody else hears. I think, like, how we all perceive pleasant sounds is the same. Like, we all understand that a sound is pleasant or a sound is poor um, or shrill or whatever is the same. But the quality or the... I don't even know if that's the right word to use. But perception is, is different among other people. And that's what carves our reality, is perception. How we perceive things is how we understand them and identify them. So it's very, very strange that I could see a person walking down the street and have an opinion on their, either their physical appearance or the way they're portraying themselves or even if they happen to be talking, I can have an opinion on how they sound and it be drastically different from theirs of their opinion of themselves, their perception of themselves, and the person standing next to me could have a different perception. Like, oh, did you see that guy's nose? It looked weird. And my friend could be like, fine to me. I didn't see anything wrong with it. Maybe my friend is just more sensitive than I am. not as quick to judge somebody on their nose. I'm not judging the person, I'm just noticing. Hey, that person looks strange. And maybe to them, they don't even think they have a weird nose. Maybe every time they look in the mirror, they're like, oh man, my nose is chiseled out of marble to perfection. Like, who knows? Get it? Nose? So that's what is, is very strange to me about identity, our physical identity, how we identify ourselves. Like, you had somebody in a police lineup. You're like, yeah, it was that guy. Oh, wait, maybe it was that guy. Or girl. Don't want to discriminate. And somebody else comes through who was also there and, and saw the same thing their perception of how that person appeared is different than yours, how is that reliable? I don't know. I think it's just something weird to think about. How we look different, sound different, even perceive color differently. Like, my version of green can be different than your version of green, which is why I've had the argument with several people about the hair color of other individuals. Yes, that person's a redhead. No, they're not. They're blonde. What? No, they have brown hair. Man. <laughs> so I think it's strange. It's something so uh, trivial is is carved by our perception of it, and nobody's perception is the same. We're all living, essentially we're all living in our own little world, even if we're interacting with others and accepting them and working with them and all this, all this stuff. We still are living in our own world because we perceive it differently and therefore identify things differently. So I'm going to call that a wrap on identity. See you this afternoon.